Welcome back, guys. So I'm with a, with a chap called David. David? Dave David or David? Dearden. David Dearden yeah. from a company called Larson. Now, you're probably not going to be familiar with Larson because they're trade only and you can't buy anything from them, so don't bother them, basically. And they've got a, a, a network of dealers that will sell you this stuff, and I will gladly sell you one of these. I've actually, I was so impressed with it yesterday when we saw it. I've already ordered some, and there's going to be a giveaway for the channel for somebody that's subscribing. Um, so, David. This is just genius. Is, is this a, is, so it's branded JMP, which is a Larson brand, is that, yeah, is that right? Our parent company from um, Hamburg is called Johan Matisse. So okay. it's a Johan Matisse product. Okay. Uh, we're called Larson in Spain, uh, Denmark, Italy, um, Czech Republic, okay. and the Netherlands. So is this, is this something that you've designed yourself or is this So this branded? is a product that um, our Managing Director Stefan Onken uh, came up with the idea um, two years ago with Batman 1. Okay. This is the Batman, Batman 2, okay. battery monitor So two. second generation. Second generation, Right, yeah. okay, that's cool. So some nice advantages yeah. on this one. It's Sm much smaller than I thought it was going to be, actually. Yep. So really simple to connect, yeah. guys. Literally positive and negative, straight on the battery. It's connected all the time. Um, so and then it Bluetooths. Is this QR code for the app? Is it? Is that it's for the app? Right. Okay. Available so there's, a, there's an Android, Android and iOS app for yeah. it. Awesome. So the app we can we can have a look at David's um, screen, but we can probably do a screen grab on a phone and, and share it with you so you get a better view. Um, but check this out, guys. So this is the thing that impressed me the most, to be honest, is the the, the graphical interface on the app. I thought was absolutely fantastic. So what um, we're seeing here. Um, on this, we're connected to this uh, monitor now, which is a serial number, which is on the back of there. We can go in and edit that and name it. Okay. So if I've got multiple... Um, wife's car, wife's son's car, car perfect dad's on bike, motorhome, whatever. caravan, yep. on the leisure battery before it goes yeah, down. Yeah, that's the other thing. This isn't motorcycle specific. Um, I'm guessing these wires are long enough yeah. to get between terminals of a car battery. Correct. Um, so and they can enough, be extended. Yeah, and ov obviously, yeah, they can be extended. So yeah, this isn't, isn't bike specific. It can be used on anything. Anyway, sorry, I, I interrupted you. So the app. And what we can see now on the app is that it's telling me that this bike, the battery is at 11.97 volts yeah. and it needs charging. So it's saying charge soon. It's yeah. at 0% um, done. So we can click on there and we can see the history Okay. Today. So timeline along the bottom. Yeah. Yesterday. So, so this is this is a my the twenty four hour period yeah. from end to end, right? Okay. We installed this on the nineteenth when right. we came to the stand onto okay. this bike. Yeah. And we can see that see the, the drop off of the it. The drain. Yeah. Because your KTM, it's a good example actually, because a KTM motocross or a supermoto bike uses an ignition system that drains the battery constantly. Okay. So we would recommend anybody to disconnect the battery. Yeah. But if you leave this bike in your uh, garage and you're going to go and race motocross at weekend, yeah. you've not run it for a couple of weeks, yeah. your lithium battery, your lead acid battery might not be high enough to start it. Okay. This will send an alert. You can set it up to send an alert to your phone okay. to say that your battery has got below a certain voltage. That's awesome. Okay. On there. So we can see the gradual Decline, rundown of that yeah. decline of that telling us to charge the battery and then you can point. obviously you can connect multiple these to one phone so how Correct. many can you connect we can connect i think 12 is 12. the maximum you right, can okay. connect that's, to it. God, that's who's got yeah. 12 vehicles or whatever some people have i'm sure but what you can do which is um, a really cool thing i think with it if you go into settings you can find another this is where it would show all your bluetooth um, devices you can rename it and you can see I've got my KTM Super Duke in okay. the background there yeah and I can connect to the KTM Super Duke and we should get a reading what that battery is okay can you display multiple devices on the same you, so so graph them on the same screen no you, you can't you can so you've only, got to log out yeah. I guess it's a Bluetooth connection so you it's yeah. it's it's a two-way comms but only one at a time is Correct. what you're saying right okay but you can do you have a, a list of previously connected devices in the app, do you? You do. And you see the name of them, so you can just go and, yeah. and ping them, basically, and get them to connect. What sort of range are we talking about? Well, we'll just move a little bit closer to this one okay. here. Yeah, the range is pretty good. We've walked over to the KTM Super Duke now. But if I'm standing in my kitchen, um, my drive at home, my caravan is maybe 100 yards down the road, from my kitchen window, yeah. it, this picks up my leisure so battery a on good, my caravan. Good, yeah. Yeah, good, strong signal. Yeah, good, strong signal. Yeah, it's really good. quite impressive. 
Yeah, so great for leisure, leisure stuff. Yeah, caravans is a good yeah. example, isn't it? But where I think it really comes into its own is, so you can see on the KTM now, we're 100%, the battery's been charged, it's showing 13.18 volts, the battery's okay, yep. everything's good. But what we also have, and we have the history, and the KTM's been connected more, so when we go into the history. Oh, we've got some graphics going on. So, sorry, we'll just sorry. go back in, and we will go, so we can look back, going all the way back to when I fitted it in October. Oh, wow, right, so there's a big memory. Big memory of that and you can go into your trip function. You can see a trip, you can search for when hey, you went on a trip. That's pretty clever, so it knows when you started, the, yeah. the engine. So if we go to the 20th of January, 20th of January will come up there. Trip, search, go back. And whenever you've been connected in, like the 10th of December is I blue. I see, it's yeah. blue, right, when yeah. it's got data, yeah. It'll find the 10th of December, and it'll tell me what my trip happened on the 10th of December, how long I was on the bike for, and it synchronises all the time. Right, okay. So it catches so up with the So every time it connects, it, it yeah. re-updates re itself. You can export these as Excel files okay. to a computer. Right. If so if you have an issue, say that your battery's going flat after a certain period of time, you can export it. So and actually, look it's a diagnostic tool that's quite yeah. powerful, isn't it? Because if you've got a, an intermittent discharge oh. or something, yeah, that is yeah. quite clever. So, but where, where it becomes really into its own, and this is the big improvement on the Batman Batman Mon One, is the cranking test. Ooh, we like this so, a bit of voltage drop. So this was the last time I did a start on my bike and connected this up. Okay. So it shows that. Um, the cranking voltage, it took 21.13 volts. They said that's a little bit low. It took a little bit of time okay. to crank the bike over. Right. Um, and so it can help you if you've got your batteries getting a little bit yeah, weak. Yeah, you you'll see, start to see the battery performance just go off a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, yeah you'll get an idea that your, 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 your battery's getting a little bit tired. Yeah, and it shows you the uh, milliseconds that it takes for the bike to start along okay. there as well. I yeah. love it. And the, it's not expensive, is it? I was really surprised at the, at the thir £35-ish? Yeah, slightly less, I think, yeah. than that, yeah. That's, it's, it's bonkers. Obviously, the app's free. The app's, app's free. app's in the App Store, yeah. the Google Play Store and the Apple yeah. App Store. Can you download the app and play with the app without connecting to a... You can, and you can you can. It's uh, like a demo mode it. or something, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so you could actually get the app and have a play. And, and have a So play. what's the app called? It's called the JMP Batmon 2. JMP Batmon Mon 2. 2. So yeah. people can download that and have a play. And then I'm going to have... We're going to have some giveaways because I've already ordered some. I was so impressed yesterday when I saw it. And then the final thing it does... Yeah. ...is a charging test. So Ooh. if your battery is going low yeah for, and it, you might think it's a faulty battery but it could be a regulator rectifier it could yep. be an alternator yeah so it will do a charging test at low at engine idle to see yep. what it's so it's recording that my ktm is slightly low there at 13.45 but just yep. fractionally below the standard range yeah but at uh, higher it, it IPM, depends on the gener generator and regulator rectus yeah so that's th there's a big window there because some window. bikes are barely charging at takeover. Correct. It just depends on the yeah. on the design. One it? of the issues on the motocross bikes is the earths are so poor on them right. that they're only putting around 12.2, 12.4 volts right, out. Okay. And you're never going to keep the battery full. Yeah, yeah. Because it's yeah. using more than it's yeah, yeah, putting so, in. Yeah. But then at higher RPM, I've just crept over 13.57. Okay. And it's this higher RPM, so it's it's constantly looking at the battery voltage as the engine's running, yeah. and that's where it gets this number from. And it asks you when you're doing the start, start the engine turn off any devices which um, consume power when in idle, for instance, radio or air conditioning if right, it's a okay. car, yeah. heated grips on yeah. the bike, which I actually had on right. when, that, when I did this test, yeah. um, and turn on the headlights so the charging's at the maximum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you start the testing. Right. So it asks you to start the engine, yeah. and then it will ask you to, when it detects the engine RPM, uh -huh. it then asks you to increase the revs on the bike. Okay, so it talks then, you through. Yeah, it talks yeah. you through. Okay. So you get a, a What an amazing bit of kit for £35. Yeah. It, just, it blows the mind. And just the interface, the app, whoever designed the app, is, it's, it's really well, nice, no, it's well done, it isn't it? It works really well. Has this always been the same app, or is this a new app for V2? This is a new app for the two. Right, okay. Big improvement. The old two. app's gone, so people aren't going to Yeah, if people have Batman, Batman 1, and it's still a Available and it's quite a bit cheaper. Okay. It will just do the battery con the battery right, voltage. Okay. All test. those other features are yeah. not in, so in none of this is in, in the there. V1. I mean, but yeah, if you buy them one now, you'd buy the V2, wouldn't you? I'm sure. And there's a little tip: if you just buy the Batmon 2, yep. 
take the ends, the eyelets off the end and put a pair of crocodile clips on. Okay. You can use it as a tester to really? test charging, oh. to test. A likey, likey. Cranking. Yeah, yeah. Power. Voltage drop, yeah. Voltage drop on the cranking voltage on your starter yeah. to test the um, battery idle um, charging yeah, yeah. and the high RPM charging. I just love it. I love to it. To make sure your regulator rectifier is working all right, the alternator is yeah. working all right, yeah. that everything's in good condition. I think of all the gadgets we've seen at the show, I don't know what you think, Benji, but I think of all the gadgets we've seen, it is my, it's my favourite. And if you were to say, oh, it's £85, I wouldn't, that no. wouldn't seem too expensive, really. No. But so the fact that it's, you know, it's less than £40 is just brilliant. And then we can go back to, so we're in the KTM Super Duke here. We can find the unnamed one, which we just fitted, as you saw before, to the supermoto bike. Right. And we're now we're connected to that bike, and it's starting to synchronise okay. the, the data from over. last time we were there. And we've that's gone cool. back. So that it's actually swaps over yeah. real quick. So, so you can, you've got multiple vehicles, you can flick through them. And yeah. That's brilliant, mate. Listen, thanks for talking no, to us. Pleasure. I know you've been really busy. Yeah. Thank um, you. But thank you very much. It's yeah. cool. Right. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.